Hi there, welcome to Speakeasy. I'm John Iverson, this is Marie Danielle Smith, and we're going to talk about the Conservatives this week. Uh, MD, the, there was a column this week that suggested that Andrew Scheer is on political death watch. Now, that seemed to me to be at odds with the facts. What do you think? Yeah, well, we've certainly seen a spike in polling lately for the Conservatives, um, largely in the fallout of the Prime Minister's trip to India, which didn't go well at all for so the Liberals. Is, so is that Shears doing, or is that just the fact Well, that's that the, the thing, I think, to understand about, you know, if they have some momentum right now, I think it has more to do with screw-ups by the Prime Minister than it does things that Andrew Shear has actually done. Um, if you ask most Canadians what's the memorable thing about Andrew Shear, or even who is Andrew Scheer, you know, you might get sort of muted answers. Uh, if you ask them, you know, what has Justin Trudeau done that you don't like, you'll get a lot more. So I think the, the conservative strategy is just kind of bide our time, wait until the prime minister screws up again, right. and that'll give us the bumping poles that, that we need. Right. Actually, I was talking to one MP who was saying that uh, Trudeau's performance uh, in Humboldt and uh, when he went abroad to London and Paris was much more low key and they were slightly concerned about that. I mean, I guess it's possible Trudeau has learned from his mistakes. It's possible and you know we're starting to see the polls going back up in the liberal favor but if we look at uh, and especially with international trips if we look at sort of the pattern that Trudeau has displayed um, it's kind of only a matter of time if you're a conservative you're thinking it's only a matter of time right. until he does something again that's gonna make us look a lot better so right. they're just kind of being patient yeah I, one thing that surprised me was was the, the conservatives are on the rise in Quebec which mm -hmm. uh, you know it seems that to me that everywhere else the Liberals are in danger of losing support, but they, their, their numbers in Quebec are such that they hope to gain about 20 seats. Yet the most recent polling shows that Trudeau's mistakes, the implosion of the bloc, mm -hmm. uh, the failure of Jagmeet Singh and the NDP to, to gain traction in Quebec has seen the Conservatives rise into second place. And uh, they have been really focusing on this asylum seekers issue, which plays well in Quebec, is a mm -hmm. big deal in Quebec. Um, so, I mean, do you think can, they can make gains there? They could, and here's one of the things we should watch is the candidates that they're rec recruiting. Uh, Alain Reyes, who is the deputy for Quebec uh, to Andrew Scheer, uh, insiders say that this was the best decision they ever made, putting right. him in that position. And he's been going around trying to recruit good names in, in high-profile names and writings. So if we watch the Conservatives sort of recruit these star candidates, they might make those gains that, that right. they think they will. Well, yeah. there's a by-election coming up in uh, Shikutimi, mm -hmm. where they've recruited the, uh, the local uh, junior hockey coach, who's a very well-known name there. They came in fourth, the Conservatives, last time. Uh, so we'll be watching in June, because if they can mm -hmm. uh, either come second or even win that seat, then we're starting to see something turning in Quebec. And if something's turning in Quebec against the Liberals, then that is incredibly bad news because that's where, that's where they're hoping to make uh, the election victory will run through Quebec. Mm -hmm. I'll be a litmus test. I'll watch. Okay, well, thanks very much for watching. We'll see you next week.